Hey guys, it's Nate, and this is the second video in my Learning the Basics of Unity 3D. And so, in the first video, I showed you guys how to download Unity. Pretty simple. And now that you have Unity downloaded, we're going to learn a few things about the engine in, in very basic, basic form. Now, when you start the engine up, or when you start Unity up, you're going to get this page called Unity Project Wizard 4.1 point whatever, whatever the version is. And you don't want to click... You don't want to click open project, you want to click create new project. Now the project location will be where the project will save. So you choose whatever folder you desire, mine's already chosen. And down here, you're probably wondering what this all is. These are asset packages. Now assets are things that you put in your level such as particles, uh, models such as trees or uh, textures that you might put on a terrain. And all these uh, Many of these come with Unity, but some of these are taken from the Unity Asset Store. So sometimes the Unity Asset Store, which is available in, in the engine, sometimes it has special deals where you can get certain assets for free. So those will also show up here before you create a project. But for now, we just want to do a blank, clean slate of a project. And so we'll press Create. And we don't, we don't want to save that. And so now we have a new project. And so basically, a project is the hub of your game. All your assets go in the project, and all your scenes are created within the project and have access to the, those assets, if that makes sense. And if it doesn't make sense now, it'll make sense later. So don't get too hung up on that. Now over here in the file tab is where you can create new scenes, open new scenes, save scenes, open new projects, save new pro save projects and make new projects. Um, basically, uh, there's this setting down here called build, and you guys are probably wondering what's build. And build is if you want to have your game run on a console or standalone, or if you want it to run within a browser like Chrome, you basically go here set your build settings up and do a bunch of settings that I'll show you later and we can do that at some point. But for now in this video I just want to show you guys how to move around this level. So what you want to do to move around the level is you want to click on this hand and basically left clicking will turn you, spin you around in circles like a, like a crazy person and uh, yeah so you can see you're not moving from this point, you're not going up and down, you're not going anywhere. Left clicking just simply lets you look. Okay, so if you're if you're just trying to do some fine tuning, say you zoom in a little too far, and say I'm like, you know, I'm I'm over here, and I want to be looking at the camera. That's that's what left that's what left clicks for. So right click basically just moves you around the level. You can you can move all around the place, all around the gaff, uh, all depending on how you want to, uh, all depending on how you want to move it. All right, so uh, clicking both will allow you to move up, down, left, right. I think it does pretty much the same thing as left click. There's not much difference to me, but you probably won't be using that much. And like I said, the scroll wheel is, or I might not have said it already, but the scroll wheel is how you zoom in. All right, zoom in, zoom out, etc. You can also use the arrow keys to, to move forward, left, back, and to the right. So if you want to use those. So, Aside from moving around, I want to show you one more thing, something that really threw me off when I was first starting to use the editor. If you have this clicked, this is like, uh, it says toggle skybox, fog, and lens flare effects. It's basically sort of like a landscape mode sort of button. And if you see this on and your screen's gray, don't be worried. Okay, so what I, th what I realized when I did this, well, I went to the level and all I saw was this gray box, right? And I was like, oh no, my Unity's broken, where's the grid? And I was freaking out, and it literally took me about an hour to figure out that no, it's just I pressed the toggle skybox button. So to save you guys some time, I'm going to tell you guys that right from the start. Make sure this box is unclicked when you start a project, or you will not see this beautiful grid that might become so useful to you in future projects. So yeah, that's all for this video, guys, and I'd like to thank you all for subscribing from the Block A channel, and I hope you guys stay tuned for more Unity 3D tutorials. See you guys. Coco Punch!